<laughs> so when when yeah. do we set up the uh, the workaholics versus always sunny three on three death match? Like, uh, I'll, let me just rate those guys over on that side, um, and then I'll get and then I'll get to my guys. Uh, <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang! What's up, brother? Not a moat show. Looking uh, clean cut with that hair. I feel like you're usually like a shaggier look, no? Yeah, somebody took a shower today. <laughs> <laughs> Done for the week, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm still in that pandemic mode, man. I'm trying to stay in that mode forever, dude. Minus the, you know, widespread death across the world. I loved the pandemic mode. It was great. So you you didn't like that? Okay. Yeah, that that part was we all, have, we die. all have different tastes. Yeah. You're going to die on that hill? Okay. <laughs> Other than that, I was having a grand old time, man. Yeah, man. Elastic. I mean, we should have bought stock in Elastic. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Sweatpants <laughs> everywhere, dude. Right. I love that the world is collectively, uh, it's seen, at least in my, my what I see, they're sticking with sweatpants. I feel like a lot of people aren't really going back. I'm seeing a lot of sweatpants in inappropriate places. Athleisure. Yeah, that's that's what's up. Whoever came it's up with like, that. Who, yeah, who's like the guy who's like, actually, it's... Um, Athleisure, yes. you jerk. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's like, okay, Bob. Little, you're just, Lil Yachty you're... wears it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what's funny is like Lil Yachty, he can pull it off. You just look like a depressed father, dude. <laughs> like, you, you're not yeah, pulling yeah. it off like Yachty does. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of inventing Anna right now. Uh, or Anna or whatever, you know, with that, who knows with that accent and everything. It's one of the, just yeah. the, I remember, and I'm from New York, so I remember it like vaguely happening and I kind of had like, oh, right. but seeing it all play out is uh, just absolutely fucking bonkers. It's crazy. I mean, so I never lived in New York, but it just makes me wonder, like, how big was this circle of young, dumb, crazy people who had ideas and then had people that they were in contact with that were like, well, maybe we give them five million and him two million, and then we make four hundred million. Like we don't know. Who cares? Yeah, man. Like if you, if you caught the wave at the right time or with the right people, where they're like, yeah, we'll take a shot on 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 this. Or, or I still don't even. Do you know? Uh, and maybe they answer this later. Like I said, I'm halfway through it. Like at some point, she is just dropping Benjamins all over the place. Like there was some amount of wealth, right? Or no, was it so all? She was. She was just begging and borrowing to pay Peter, whatever that's yeah, saying. Yeah, is. yeah, Peter and Paul. But even with the cash, yeah. like it's one thing with the credit cards, but the, even the cash was still all fake. She was it's cashing wow. fake checks. I mean, when yeah. you get towards the end, you'll be like, oh, she was flagrant. Like yeah. she was just wiling. And then like every hotel in New York knew about this woman. Yeah, you know, yeah. they were like, you're not welcome here. Right. Yeah. And they had her fucking face up on the wall, like at a bar. Right. Like, That's not badass. Yeah. Well, That's yeah. sick. Isn't That's how you live in the life. Right? Isn't part of, hotels? Doesn't part of it feel like, first of all, about these people, I always say, if right. they just did, if they worked half as hard at the scam as a regular job, you'd probably be like a yeah. CEO. But right. I do also, it's kind of cool with these people, the Tinder Dude, swindler no. and inventing that. I, I, I disagree. I don't, don't want to be looking over my shoulder. I, That's I, right. That's I agree it. with that. But, but if you can pull it off, you're kind of like the ultimate fucking but you, con you have artist to have, hustler, you know? To be a con artist, I, I think I, I've, through all the, the larger cons that have been getting exposed in media and TV lately, yeah. like, like watching the Madoff and yeah, all those Madoff movies really shit, kicked it off, yeah. Like, right. you have to have a, a level of sociopathy that is... It's crazy. Unimaginable. Because yeah. I, I tell lies all the time, like joking and shit like that. No, no nothing serious. I, I don't know if I've ever told a serious lie that could like come back to get me. And that's all because right. if I did, right. it would it would be all I think about. It would yeah. consume me. Yeah. Being like, am but I gonna get found out? That's the whole thing with these people that you're saying, like, if they just worked this hard at this thing, they found out a long time ago that they can't do that. Right. Right. You know right. I mean? So yeah. like, but then they also found out right around that time that if they faked it till they made it, they could do it. Yeah. You know, but if someone's like, hey, I need you to show your work on this math problem. Right. They're like, ah, uh, fuck off. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, you know, I wonder if you stop looking over your shoulder. Like, like if you were scheming and scamming and hustling and let's say you made it through like a year. Right. Would you be like, I can just keep doing this? Or would you, or do, are you always like going to sleep at night? Like, oh, maybe tomorrow's the day they catch me. Because at some point you might be like, these people are all stupid. I got them all <laughs> fucking wrapped around my finger. 
I mean, isn't there like an uncut gems miss to it yeah. where it's like the rush of pulling it off? Yeah. You know, sure. and you're like, I must be some kind of Svengali, whoever <laughs> yeah. that is, uh, that I can keep doing this. Like, I'm untouchable, you right, know? Right. I think there was the, the uh, like, hey, you're talking about, like, you can keep, keep tricking people or something like that. The, I yeah. forget what senator it was, but such a cool ass quote where he's like, I think it's from like House of Cards. It's not like a real senator's quote, I don't think. But he's like, your first day on the floor, you look around thinking, like, how did I get here? And right. then after one year, you're like, how did everyone else get here? <laughs> everybody. <laughs> right. That's it. That's everybody. <laughs> I mean, you know, these are the extreme cases, but everybody's a hustler. Everybody's faking it till they make it. You know what I mean? Right. Usually it's right. like I embellish on my resume or my interview, right. not, right. you know, whole scale money laundering. But everybody right. is a fraud, dude. <laughs> and I would imagine I mean, in, yeah. the, in Hollywood, it's probably, you know, all over the place. Right. What? <laughs> no, it's as real as it gets, man. No, dude. I mean, it's rampant everywhere. And now we're kind of being coached socially towards doing that with social media. My platform, I'm going to stand on it. But like anybody, you put a filter on your picture. Yeah, you're yeah. only showing like, you didn't show like the shit show you went through to get to the beach in Mexico, mm -hmm. but you're just going to like post a picture of the Corona and your feet up with the waves <laughs> crashing. Yeah. But nobody knows you lost your bags and like a dog bit you on the way in or whatever yeah. it is. <laughs> right. You know? Uh, so, yeah, it's 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 a weird, we're at a weird place, man, where putting your best foot forward is now like creating your best version of yourself, you know? You know what else I found interesting about the show? And I don't know if you, uh, if you know more about it or if you don't, you just get the script and you just do the role. But as, as the... I read only in my lines. <laughs> <laughs> but so you're you're yeah. playing the husband of the <laughs> journalist involved, right? And uh, they act like the, the her article that got her in trouble yeah. was like she murdered a fucking baby when it was just like right. this dude, this this scammer, another scammer kid. She's like putting together a list of like the main reasons to live in New York, and one of them is that this this kid made eighty million dollars gaming before he was sixteen. And it turned right. out to be fake, mm -hmm. and she didn't fact check. And it was like, okay, right. well, that's yeah, that's not good journalism. But right, let's like, you know, it's just a little fake news that's all over the place now. And they act like, right. you, know, you know, she she got her job uh, offer from Bloomberg pulled, and they acted like she was this you know scum. I was like, I don't think it's all that bad, yeah. man. <laughs> and also, particularly yeah, on, like, I mean, uh, on an article, it seems that it was a, a, it was a list. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> like, it was weird. Forty reasons to live in New York, right? And, right. Like, and one of them was like right. fake. But this didn't match my journalistic integrity. Just right. Just to be clear, half of journalism is list articles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, that's what that's, that's what you're going to get busted on. But, yeah. you know, I think it's just uh, they wanted to emphasize that this woman has journalistic integrity. Mm -hmm. She had a misstep. Mm -hmm. It involved, like, a minor who then, I think, sued and was considered slandered by the, like, right. assumption and, like, the tone of it might be off. So, like, you know, she wants to course correct through this article and I think that's part of why she's so obsessed. Not only is Anna Delvey and the mystery behind how she got where she is interesting, but she's like, this is maybe my legacy before I go have a baby and become baby's mom to everybody. Uh, you know, because yeah, yeah, I don't right. know if you guys have kids, but you're like, you end up being like your kid's name's dad, right? Yeah. So it'll be like, hey, are you uh, Zach's dad? And you're like, well, I had a name, but right. I, I once was a person. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how, you got kids? How many got? I got three kids. Yeah. How old are they? Eight, four, and zero. Oh wow! So you got a fresh one. <laughs> you got a fresh. Yeah, you got, got a freshie. Fresh, <laughs> fresh <laughs> out the oven. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, only like a few months old, three months old. Yeah. So I got a question for you. If you are doing drop off in the morning, yeah, do you uh, get in clothes and get comb your hair and like get presentable, or you just roll out in like sweats and PJs and just throw them out the car? Uh, this morning I'm in like those rubber Birkenstocks. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm in a pair of sweat shorts yep. and a hoodie. Yes. <laughs> my um, man. Sometimes a, usually a hat though, just cause it's like, you know, that's why I like my forehead's all red. I had a hat on 10 seconds ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, w w w I, is I, this a fashion show? I, By the way, <laughs> I used, we used to send our kids to a school that seemed like a little bit of a fashion show and. Uh, we've since moved, and it's way more pajama time. That's what's yeah. up, because I feel like there's two camps where I go, where I drop them off, and yeah. and I'm sometimes getting looks, and I'm like, fuck you, yeah. man, fuck off. Right. See, if I you're, you're in your boxers though, to be <laughs> <laughs> let's be clear here. There was there was honestly one time where I went, you know, some of the lounge pants that we sell at yeah. Barstool that. 
Sometimes you're exposing, yeah. you know, they can tell if you've right. been circumcised or not. <laughs> they can see and it. I wore those and I was like, oh, shit, I probably shouldn't have done that. Right. <laughs> the helmet huggers. Yeah. Like, sir, <laughs> sir, can you come with me? You're uh, in a school zone. <laughs> I was going to say, I got to register on a list now because I dropped my kids off. The right. I think, and this is going to come as no surprise to Kevin, I think I'd be a dresser up. Yeah, absolutely. Because you scumbag I think, loser, I hate you. I think there's like, like, like <laughs> I have, if when I have a reason to get dressed, and, and the reason... To uh, you know, it used to be like prom was the reason to get dressed. Yeah. Now the, the the bar is on the floor. So with low. What a reason right, to get dressed right, right. is, and it's just like I'm gonna see people. I wanna. You wanna be the belle of the ball? Yeah. If I like, look, if I'm in a rush, it's not necess necessary. But if I got nothing to do in the morning, which I, if I have kids, I imagine I do have some things to do. That's the thing. So <laughs> hold up, you don't have kids. So you don't have kids, right? <laughs> no. no. So let's let's follow up in a couple years when you do, <laughs> and we'll see whatever garbage bag you're wearing to school. <laughs> <laughs> there was this uh there's a you story know. I saw today a mother in Bolivia somewhere in Bolivia some or South America maybe uh she was dropping right. kids off I mean she was body was just banging just yeah. like a super hot mom and she was wearing wildly inappropriate clothes and right. the other moms were like filming and yelling out the window like inappropriate <laughs> but I I can't think of right. a better a, a faster way to become a villain than being like the super hot mom dressing wildly inappropriate at the drop off line. You are, you yeah. are lucky they don't get out the car and murder I'll, I'll, you. I'll tell you how to become a better villain. Uh, be the dad whose penis head is invisible. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, and, and think about if those two uh, characters Together, cross paths. Yeah. Gotta go to South We America. have a problem. <laughs> you know? You're like, hey, how are you? Uh, De Denise's mom? Oh my God, I'm. Popping wood. Uh, so what else is cooking? I know uh, you guys started a podcast, correct? Yeah, yeah, me yeah. and the dudes, workaholics dudes, we uh, got a podcast called This Is Important, mm -hmm. where uh, we don't talk about anything that's important, um, and we just bullshit. You know, it's, the concept to us was the conversations we had on the roof at yeah. workaholics, mm -hmm. like this is that. Um, okay, so no here's guests, the problem. There's no topic, it just goes. The problem is... Uh, fuck you, because we say this every time. I'm getting a little fed up with famous yep. and successful people coming into our lane. Podcasts are for so, the failures. This, yeah, this was the our last resort. Yeah, dude. We, we wanted to be you, and we I'm couldn't be. It. So we make money this way, and then you guys and fucking Sonny and all these guys in the in the office, all your favorite fucking actors are now doing what we do. And there's only a, only so many ads to go around, man. Let's just say first and foremost. Fuck all with Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, love those guys. But like, uh, yeah, I, yesterday I was on a podcast and they're like, so you have a podcast? And I go, let me preface this by being like, I know that coming into the industry, we are doing like a little grab. Yeah, um, you and they're like, you don't have to... You don't have to apologize. I'm like, but I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but I will say... The fact that like we we don't do anything, uh, we don't do like guests, or we don't have a topic that's like covering anything. It's just us, which I imagine you know, unless someone else did a podcast about us. Uh, well, somebody, that was my you know, idea. We were gonna do a workaholics podcast where we pretended to be you guys, <laughs> and you totally fucked us. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when uh, it happens a lot with comedians too, and we we have a lot of comics yeah. on the show. And yeah. Whitney Cummings started her podcast. Her first guest was Dave Grohl for like a two hour sit down, like all about the history of the right. Foo Fighters. I was like, well, right. you know, we're over here just like slinging, you know, fucking stamp.com. Like, Jesus Christ. Right. Have you, you're have you found it? You're just settling for the third guy on Workout Hall. <laughs> <laughs> have you found it like affects your friendship in the sense that like, like, like I, like me and Kevin don't talk because we'll save it for the show. Wait, like if we start with, like, oh, I gotta tell you something. It's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna tell you online. I'm telling you yeah, like, yeah, for the mic. Right. Like, because I want like the general reaction. So like, having right. that, and Kevin and I have always been friends, but work friends. So we've been doing the podcast for a long time. But you guys right. were friends for a long time before you ever did a podcast. When you said work friends, he looked at you like, wait, what? <laughs> no, no. We, I, I mean, we met <laughs> through. We had something. Yeah, we yeah, met yeah, yeah. through work. Yeah. But you guys yeah, were friends yeah. before that. Like, does it? Do you guys ever like? Are, you're on a group text. Like, I can't even tell you the story. I gotta wait till we record. No, um, I mean, so you have a good work life balance. Good. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you'll get there. <laughs> you'll get there. It, it, it's 50 50. I mean, like, we, because of the podcast, we don't talk as much as we might, but we, we text. There's like definitely a text chain going. Um, but then 
no one's going to go into a story over text. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So like, oh, if anything God. happens, and by the way, I'll show, I'll sit down in my chair, ready to pod, and be like, Yo, I got to tell the dudes about this. And then I never even never get to it. To do yep. it. You know? Yep. Yep. Because like somebody will start with something else, and I'll be like, oh yeah, like dude, in the nineties, whatever it is, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, organic is like a, a um, not a, that's like too much of a word, but it is very much just the epitome of add in action yeah, yeah, is yeah. Our podcast we actually just did uh, that on a show we did this is a great topic where, actually where we were like like everyone shut up wait till we start recording and we'll talk about yeah. this topic and we yeah. did an hour show and it never came up and right. it was about it was uh, a girl who used to work here she tweeted that she had remembered that guys don't wipe their penises after they pee and she <laughs> thinks that's crazy and then one of the guys she, here was like, "I like that she she remembered." That. Yeah, <laughs> like she was in fourth grade and like right. learned about it and it popped in her head twenty five yeah. years later. It's <laughs> like, oh my god, remember speak and spell from the eight? Like, <laughs> sure, but, but yeah, okay, don't you so think she, it is bizarre? But then one of the guy here says he does. Yeah, yeah. one of one of uh, one of our coworkers. Always, he says he says he always wipes when he pees. Unless and he's unless he's at a urinal. He pees, Where, dude. <laughs> Peace. You know, I, we're on um, on this is important. We're big sitters. We a lot of us we like to take a sit when yeah. we, if we're uh-huh. at home, we'll just sure. sit down, relax on the phone. And I guess I have before, yeah, because you're just like I'm sitting. It's here, might as well. <laughs> um, I'm otherwise, actually, I'm very it impressed. It gets violent. It's I, a violent shake. I well, that's the thing. <laughs> oh, I, I don't do he, that. I just pee my well, pants. This, this dude comes out of the bathroom bro, yeah, with a, bro. his half his pants half pissed every single time. There, I have to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep a sweatshirt at my desk. Almost like like a woman keeps like a period sweater <laughs> to wrap around right, the waist. Right. I I got like I got my pee sweat sweatshirt. That is yeah. on the back of my What's chair. What's cool? Is, <laughs> she, that the woman who remembered the guy wiped their dick or whatever. She seemed like I remember this guy remembered period sweaters <laughs> on her podcast. <laughs> I don't even know uh, if that's a thing. I think I, think I saw it in a show I, once. I, I was gonna say I don't know if I've ever heard the phrase period sweater, but I'll go with it. Fuck it. Come on down to Old Navy. Our period sweaters are two for one. That's not a thing, Jackie, um, right? That's a, no, a, a once-a-month sale. <laughs> I'm I'm very impressed with the human penis that it, it's able to kind of cut okay, it off. Relax. <laughs> I think it cuts. We it, all are. It, it, it cuts it off, and you get it all out with just a shake, and it's like you don't need to fucking wipe, guys. I don't, I don't know. I, you just said human penis and cuts it off in the same sentence, and I was like, Ooh, wait, what are we talking about? Ooh, huh, what? Yeah, why do you, why do you keep yeah. uh, you, you keep it trapped to just the human penis that impresses you? It's well, yeah, the, no, I'll be honest. The other penises, other that dog we saw on Howie Mandel's Instagram has been oh haunting boy. my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Check out Howie you know, Mandel's. Sharks have two of them. <laughs> sharks have two? Um, I think so, right? The <laughs> shark I met did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so here's the thing that's great about podcasting, by the way. If you just say it, it's true. <laughs> that's true. Like, as long as you said that it with an true. ounce of confidence, we could run around being like, yeah, no, Anders least... Holm told us that there's you know, sharks want, two dicks. Want another fun fact we learned the other day? Uh, Give it. Uh, chicken eggs are just the chicken's period. Yeah, that's that's a tough one to really conceptualize. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just kind of gross. Wait, 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 yeah. Why are you saying that? Like, yeah, you didn't know that. That's not a thing to know. It, but isn't that they're the egg? It's like the. But 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 did you ever think of that? Like I know that that's the case. But when you sit down to eat eggs, are you like I'm just eating this chicken's period? No, you're not. Hey. Every time. <laughs> that's, that's why I eat them. That's why I like yeah, them yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah. It's one of the weirder things that we do. That somebody, um, was somebody along the line yeah. was like, "Let's crack that 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 egg open and we'll just eat that but thing." That's dude, fucking we're bizarre. animals. We've been doing this shit forever. Like, yeah. think of just cow's milk. We're yeah. like, that's that's wet. Tastes kind of good. Dip it in cookie or <laughs> dip cookies, cookies in, in it. it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, like it's fucking weird. And by the way, along the line, like. We're all testing all this shit. People died being like, well, let me just uh, let this snake bite my tongue and taste the venom. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> that, that's don't, a, the, don't do that. The, uh, I, I saw that. I don't know if it was a tweet or if it was on Reddit, whatever, but it was like, imagine being like the taste tester for mushrooms back in the day. We're like, that one made Jim see God. That one killed Steve. And that one right. has the texture of a steak a little bit. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right, it is right, a right. high There's risk. A, a big variance on that one. I, I yeah. love to think about the the first guy who 
uh, ate, ate a mushroom on purpose and was like, yep, that was cool. Or like, I don't know, Native American, some some bush caught on fire. Next thing you know, you're feeling right. good and goofy. Like, let's do more of this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Got to be the best but accidents think- of all time. I feel like a guy did it and it was like, holy shit. And everyone freaks out because he's freaking out. And then like after the come down, he's like, you guys got to try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he did it by accident. And then he was like, now you guys you do, do it. it. Uh, and the, yeah, the thought of like, all right, I'm just going to put in some paper and we're going to roll it up. I'll suck on it and we'll light it on fire. <laughs> and then we're all feel good. How do we know this? I mean, and is, is, did that come from like a fucking forest fire where they're walking around that's and like, inhaling smoke and feeling high? Like, that's what, what I mean. I don't know. Or I don't know. Aliens don't came know. down and, you know, hook you up with some of that knowledge. Well, I didn't want to get to the truth so soon. <laughs> <but> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, a- aliens are just fucking sick stoners and we love them <laughs> wouldn't that be great if all that you know if they did if that's what aliens did do some people are like oh they they came and gave us knowledge of science and this and that there's like nah aliens just taught us how to yeah. get high yeah right pretty useful me to better. Your dealer. much better mm-hmm. much much more useful uh right so and then we did build the pyramids we were just high as fuck for a thousand years (laughs) it wasn't aliens but they helped honestly that really is the only way you could just drag those bricks around and stack them up and just be like well right i gotta be a little high to do this (laughs) uh so what what else is on the horizon i mean i i feel like this inventing anna has been a big smash i don't know man this is yeah. what's up uh i just finished uh this movie's robert de niro and sebastian maniscalco oh wow out later this year yeah 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 it was fun it's called uh about my father and uh it's a funny rom-com kind of meet the parents oh, okay. um that's my good. big fat greek wedding type thing just just three uh, italian guys together right <laughs> you know you you sebastian yeah, just... and bobby de niro a couple of eye ties <laughs> hey hey is this offensive hey um <laughs> No, I play like the blue, the blue blood um, douchebag brother in law to be of uh, the woman he wants to marry. And Natural fit. He's taking yeah. his dad to meet the family. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm just a straight up buffoon. Do you ever when, um, when you get those yeah. roles, is there ever a moment of like, like if they're like, you are perfect for the douchebag brother yeah, role. Yeah. Are you kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah. fuck, man. Or you're just like, yeah. Give Look, me that money. There's a certain there's a certain point where you either know how much range you have, uh, and you're like, I can be anybody, or you're a type, and people go, You're this though, and you go, Hey man, the check clears. I'll yeah. see you on set. <laughs> um, but you know, there's a lot of times where you're like, All right, I, I just did that part. I don't know if I want to do that again, like right off the bat. And then you always circle back and go, This is my wheelhouse. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but this project was awesome. Like it, uh, weirdly, this is the second time I got to work with De Niro after we did the Intern together uh, a few right. years ago. That's so a great like, movie, man. Intern's a great. That's movie. such a fucking wholesome ass, <laughs> just good movie. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. And uh, this one was crazy. I got so like in the Intern, I'm like this cheating kind of. Yeah, you were a bad like, dude. Yeah, you know, and I'm just being like kind of a normal guy. Uh, in this movie, I'm a little bit off the rails. It's not like an over the top comedy, but I got to kind of let my freak flag fly in this weird, like seersucker preppy oh, yeah. outfit. Mm-hmm. You described uh, my high school. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> right. and, and, and it would kind of like blew Bob back for like, he was like, Oh, okay. Like you're different in this one. I go, well, I hope so. That's you know, that's acting. Right? Do, right. Yeah. 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 That's gotta um, be cool though. When you show up to set and like, you're just like, Hey Bob. You know. Oh yeah. You I know. mean, we did like the table read the day before, and he kind of like looked down. He was like, "Hey, how you oh, been?" Oh, that's yeah. so sick. <laughs> oh, how I've been since the last time we worked together. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, per- personal connection happening here. <laughs> that is that um, is one thing that's just like objectively very very cool. Uh, when like when you just like describe people who have like their icons. icons yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we we had Wahlberg in here this morning, and and we kind of like we we started our own rumor that. <laughs> The Departed Donnie? Two. You're talking about Donnie Wahlberg? No, uh, Mark. <laughs> and and <All> right. we, <laughs> we're talking. The, the second best Wahlberg. Yeah. <laughs> so we, yeah, we settled for Mark. Yeah. We were appreciated for Donnie. And, yeah. and we had Donnie started. Donnie on the backup. <laughs> we had started our own rumor that the that they were doing The Departed 2 had been greenlit. And, yeah, yeah. and he was just like, oh, Marty hasn't mentioned that to me. Just and so I, casual. I was like, oh, he means yeah. Scorsese. That's yeah. what he means right and now. And he said something else, too, where he was like, so I just finished up doing two guns with Denzel and then I was here and the names were just and it's not name dropping because it's just his fucking right. life you know <laughs> right right it's like, yeah and, and I mean meanwhile, to be we're... able to just 
talk casually about Denzel Washington is a whole nother level. It's a whole it's different ball game. Bananas. And that's what you guys are supposed to, yeah. Like, honestly, if you can if you can talk about Robert De Niro and say Bob or Bobby, you can't have a fucking podcast. <laughs> like, get out that's of our true. lane, that's dude. True. Enough. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Enough. That's and right. Adam was in the intern, too. He worked with them. I mean, yeah, yeah we've been right. super lucky to uh, – Again, fool everybody. We're con- we're all con artists. Well, I, that's, I was yeah. gonna yeah. ask yeah. you. Yeah. I was gonna ask you if you were gonna like take up a con like Anna. What what kind of what kind of con game we run it? I guess a- acting. I guess it's <laughs> aren't it. we aren't we doing it? Yeah, yeah. 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 watching it, this, and, uh, dude. This know? is it. I mean, shit. <laughs> um, the next con will be tricking my kids into thinking that uh, I had anything to do that was cool back in the day. You know, I can't wait for them to turn on workaholics and just be like, this is it. You're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> You're a total idiot. Yeah. You're, this is these are the dumbest characters in the history. Of the it content. really is so dumb. It's so good. It's so brilliant. It's like it's just dumb. It's it, if I had to show somebody dumb, if, I, if an alien came down and said, like, what's dumb about yeah. humans? Like, here you go, yeah. man. My favorite but, thing about those guys is that like they wanted to be the worst guys yeah. but even the, but the worst guys are like you can't hang with us <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like oh those guys are so cool and it's like no they're, they're not so when when yeah. do we set up the uh the workaholics versus always sunny three on three death match Three on three death match. This yeah. is like a fighting thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll put you guys um, in a cage, maybe like a WWF hardcore match. We'll have some some thumbtacks and some steel chairs and tables and shit, and you guys square you know, off. More violent than I'd imagined it to be. Oh yeah, I got. Yeah. No, I, I want to see bloodshed between these three. <laughs> like, uh, I'll, let me just rate those guys over on that side, um, and then I'll get and then I'll get to my guys. Uh, look, Charlie, he's a smaller guy, right? But yeah. he's he's got the crazy eyes, so you don't know what's gonna happen. Wild he's also card. from. He's from Rhode Island. Yes, land land of crazy people. <laughs> um, he went. To, and they know. Remember, remember the high school I was describing this year, sucker. That's Charlie you. also went to that high school with me. Yeah, you guys are weirdos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so you know. Uh, and then um, let, let's go with Glenn. Glenn, he's a very slender man, but also like reptilian in ways that we don't know. Um, you know, but he could he could blow over in a breeze. Um, <laughs> he's got. Then, I mean, Glenn's got rage. Yeah, he even said on exactly. on his podcast yeah, yeah. recently, he yeah. said how he, he's got some Dennis in him, which I is always a scary thing. Glenn is the guy who will take his thumbs and, like, press them into your eyes, <laughs> you know? And you're like, no one needed to do that. Just, <laughs> just go for, like, the larynx or something, like a normal person. That's exactly um, what he do. That's he, like, that's thumbs in your eyes and howls like, <laughs> as if he's, like, finally released from a spell when he does that. Uh, and, and then Rob is just like fully jacked yeah. right so he's he, a problem he, i think he's going to be the x factor um he's also got those vanity popcorn muscles time, though he's just trying to look sexy you yeah know? yeah he's got biceps yeah and but those, you up. you'd be surprised where those vanity muscles can do <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> yeah don't, it's, don't like, it's like he's got vanity muscles like, okay i have no, no muscles <laughs> so <laughs> right but then uh, what's on uh, your side and, of the table Look, Adam Devine is a full-on tank, okay? <laughs> His low center of gravity, you can't keep that guy down, okay? <laughs> he's beefy, he's brawny, he's, he's, he's a, a Midwest corn-fed beast. You don't want to fuck with this guy. I mean, guy. the man took a cement Blake truck to the head and just kept on living. <laughs> yeah. He's good. Okay. He, he's cheated death. He'll cheat it again. <laughs> um, then you got Blake Anderson. I don't know if you've seen the guy with the shirt off, but he's muscle-bound. He's cut. <laughs> and uh, he wears the baggy clothes because he wants to just look be looked at like a normal guy. He's abnormal. He's, uh, he's built like a shit brick house, uh, brick shit house under there. Uh, and then there's me. You don't Come know on, you gassed everyone. Else I, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen with Anders home. He's going to fucking kill you, you man. Know. You never know. All I know is I think I got 30 pounds on Glenn, so uh, <laughs> that should help, hopefully. And I'm four inches taller than all of them, so I got a little bit of reach. On top of each other's shoulders. <laughs> yeah. And then I guess we could, we could bring in um, uh, Sweet D, whose real name escapes me Caitlin at the same Olsen. moment. So Caitlin Olsen, who... Funniest, funniest woman on television, right? Never yeah. been nominated for anything. Bullshit. That's crazy. Um, she would have to fight Kyle, and Kyle, <laughs> he's clocking in at about two forty these days. So watch <laughs> out now. 
Kyle's got fists that are like lunch pails. So. <laughs> and unless she's squirrely, man, uh, Rob might have to come to her, uh, her, uh, her aid. Yeah, that's it. And then DeVito, I don't know. Maybe DeVito that's just bounces around. That could be the, the X factor. You don't even know what side DeVito's going to be on. Yeah. He might end up fighting, fighting for you guys. Ankles? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fighting like, ankles. fuck them. <laughs> Have you seen uh, what they did to no, me? I, I was the one's proud actor. <laughs> I was an icon, god damn it. I would love. So I, I got us. Um, but like, also, those guys are just like more refined than us. We would probably show up drunk and they'd be like, this is a joke. You know, we've been training. We've been training for months and you guys are like on something. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. you know. But we were walking by a forest like, fire on the way here. It just happened. <laughs> yeah. I like the mushroom. We're trying to wake up Adam. Adam, wake up. The fight is now. <laughs> you know. uh, I love it, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I like to imagine all of us punching each other's fists at the same time and we all explode into uh, some sort of fire. Or we just do like a golf outing like normal there you go, like, yeah. celebrity people. <laughs> Uh, I love it, dude. I appreciate the time, man. Uh, Inventing Anna, Anna is on Netflix. It's the big hit right now. Uh, I'm sure everyone's watching it. It's the hit. This you guys, is a big if one. If you haven't started it, you got to start it, and then you got to finish it. You you had to That's know. Going works. Yeah. Did, you, did you know this was gonna be a big one? Like they, dude, they, they it's just, Shonda Land. Yeah, I yeah. mean Shonda does not miss, yeah. dude. She does not miss. No. You gotta she you gotta hits. latch on to that, dude. Like, <laughs> hey, anytime you need a doofy white guy, <laughs> <laughs> I will play all that right. role forever on every Shonda hey. rhymes. What's crazy? She won't stop calling. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, we. I, what's funny is that she, not only is she like uh, obviously a talented writer and knows how to make a show, like she runs a tight ship and mm -hmm. like we did this during the pandemic it was not easy we started before the pandemic then came back like well into it and um it was going to be 10 episodes we had to condense it into nine uh so all this like kind of bobbing and weaving and she pulled it off and uh it's good i think it's a, a fun a fun show to live in for nine episodes for sure man it really is uh yeah, and appreciate the time and uh hope to see you again soon all right yeah man good to see you guys keep it going Thank you, good one, good to see you too. Listen, if you made it this far into the video, which is far, like no one ever does that on the internet. Like it's the end. You made it to the end the of the video. The full fucking video you, you watched did. the whole thing. So if you liked it and you watched the whole thing, why don't you subscribe? It means you like us. Click the subscribe button cuz if you don't, I'm going to fucking murder John and I'm going to like it. Kill him with my bare fucking hands. Yeah. And if you weren't sold on this video, there's plenty more. Watch what's next up and then subscribe. But just subscribe so I don't have to fucking kill him. Sub well, I don't know. Do what you want, but subscribe. Probably. <laughs>